The devotion is based on the ground Mahamudra that all sentient beings, including you, have limitless essence and potential of Buddha. Now, the Buddha Shakyamuni, all the Buddha of the past, all the master of the lineage, they already attained the realization of that. Same, that same potential that you have, they already realize. But their realization can never be for anything except for all of us. They cannot become Buddha, Shakyamuni cannot become Buddha for himself. Buddha, Shakyamuni cannot become Buddha for his friends. Buddha Shakyamuni become Buddha for all sentient beings. That includes us. Therefore, his limitless realization and limitless freedom that he has achieved is for us. So, our appreciation our admiration, our faith, our trust in Buddha, that is what we call devotion. And it is natural, it is genuine, it is limitless. Why limitless? Because his compassion is limitless for us. Therefore, our devotion to him is limitless. If he had limited compassion to us, we will have limited devotion to him. If he only fed us once a day, we will be appreciative of that. If he gave us clothes, we will be appreciative of that. But he attained enlightenment for us to attain enlightenment. Therefore, our devotion to Buddha have no limitation. Because his compassion to us have no limitation. So that is the devotion. And now that lineage of Buddha's enlightenment continues through the lineage. So that way, based on the Buddha, then we have devotion to everything that is related to Buddha, which is the Dharma, the Sangha, the lineage. So this is, uh, uh, this is other side of compassion. So compassion is because all sentient beings have Buddha nature. And Buddha is attained enlightenment for all of them, including us. So devotion, the compassion, is two sides of the same coin. And without compassion, there will be no genuine devotion. Without Devotion, there will be no genuine compassion. So limitless compassion and limitless devotion is actually same thing. Two aspects of the same thing. Therefore, the practice of the compassion and devotion in Mahamudra is very simple. Practice of the compassion and devotion in Mahamudra is this. I wish to attain Buddhahood. That is our devotion to Buddha. I wish to become like you. That is our 
true limitless devotion to Buddha. And our limitless compassion to all sentient beings is to make you all become Buddha. That is our compassion. So our compassion and our devotion is based on the same thing, that you have limitless potential for limitless freedom. Buddha already attained it. I wish to attain it for all to attain. So this way, ground Mahamudra and the Mahamudra practice, which is based on devotion and compassion, the intention of the practitioner is all same thing. We don't say, you are superior to me. I can't even compare to your little toe of the left foot forever. Therefore, I bow to you. Not like that. Right now, I can't even compare to the dust on which the little toe of your left foot touched 10,000 years ago. I can't even compare to that. But what I have inside me is equal to what you became. So you and I are made of the same thing. Your potential and my potential is same. Your achievement and my achievement is far apart. Therefore, I wish to achieve what you have achieved. That's my devotion to Buddha. And my compassion, I mean, when I say my, I mean as a Mahamudra practitioner, you know, I'm not saying me, you know. I try, okay, I'm trying my level best. <laughs> So, the Mahamudra practitioner's compassion to all sentient beings is also the same. Some sentient beings on, on some things more superior to me. Some sentient beings in some things more inferior than me in their achievement. But we all are with the same potential. And I wish to attain the highest and most limitless liberation for all sentient beings to attain the highest and most superior liberation. When I say superior means absolute freedom with no limitation whatsoever. And do you think that is possible with greed? No. Do you think that is possible with envy? No. Do you think that is possible by being a workaholic? No. Do you think that is possible by taking absolute holiday of doing nothing for 24 hours, 365 days a year, for a million lifetime. <laughs> no. Okay? That can only happen when your ultimate nature, when your true being is fully mature. Mature to the ultimate limit and which is limitlessness of its essence. So this way, I think we have very simple, very basic understanding of the practice of devotion and compassion in Mahamudra. <clears throat>